can I ask you a question, and, and you as well? Sure. Hmm. I'm not a man of faith like the two of you. I, I know that there are gods on high who look down upon us and interact with the mortal coil from time to time. But in my life, I have only ever felt like an ant finding my way about in the mud. Certainly, n no feeling of fate, no connection to that. But everything that is happening with this group of nine continues to build. We are so different, all of us. Seemingly so little alike, and yet, for the first time in my life, I can't shake the feeling that we have been pulled together. And that is a very foreign thought to me. I knew that you had a destiny from the moment I met you. It's in everything you do. You are particular. I don't feel that. Well, it's a matter of perspective, I suppose. You were always moving towards something since you since you've been who you are. You're moving towards something, right? I have been. Well, it's kind of how, how do I put this? So, have you ever, uh, have you ever planted a tree before? Or a, or a plant, have you ever planted anything? Put anything in the ground. A long time ago, we had plants. Yeah. What did you? What did you? What did you plant? Um, green beans. Green beans. Perfect. So you put something in the ground. Didn't look like much. You knew what you were going to get at the end of it. You put this thing in the ground, and it's going to do what it's going to do. It doesn't know what it is. It doesn't know its purpose, but it's moving to green beans. The gods plant us. They plant their will and their desire, and we move towards the fruit that we will eventually bear for them, if all goes well. That plant may not have made it. That plant may have fallen to a chill or circumstance, been eaten by something that didn't appreciate what put it there. But destiny has planted you here and now, and it hopes that you will bear its fruit. That's destiny. Don't look at me, I'm learning. <clears throat> the tree doesn't know what it's going to fruit. You don't know where you're headed, but you were put here, and I've always known this, but I will admit I've never felt it as truly as I have since meeting the rest of you. This is, this is, this is a garden. This is a good garden. A lot of manure. <laughs> what a good garden. And what is the point of a chip if not just to douse it in vinegar? It's really the only point of this. It's bland otherwise. It's true, yeah. That's not the purpose. Is that, uh, does that help, Caleb? Or at least it's worth pondering. What about you? Are you ready to go chasing after Faris Doom? <laughs> That's a real sentence that I just said out loud. You did. You did. I am not ready for that. 
I admit I haven't been ready for any of this. We've just sort of been falling forward, one foot catching our momentum after the other. It's actually quite nice sitting like this. I can't really imagine what life would be like if we weren't trying to unravel this incredible mystery. I'm sure calm will come again one day, but until then, listening to my friends, we've been given an incredible opportunity to affect change, maybe change the course of some things. I don't know if we'll do it, I don't even know how to start. Start by helping a friend. A very large part of me still feels that this is all stupid, that I should run away and stick my head in the sand. This is not for us, for me. This is our death. Now you are the smart one. You're also not wrong. <laughs> but... I have started to forget what it was like to not be with you people. And we are missing one, and I am stuck on that, that we are missing one. It's good to know your goal, to really know it. It'll help you. I think the other part of it is if you know everything that we know, and you have a choice, do you choose not to act? and sit by idly, letting the rest of your life go by? Or do you act knowing full well that you might fail entirely? Yeah. Well, I'm at least familiar with the concept of failure. I think I'm becoming comfortable with the idea of failing with you. Makes it a little less lonely. You two are all right. Getting better. You are as well. You should give yourself more credit. Mm. I know. Just think about it. I saw how hard it was for you in there. In the in the ball. You put others before yourself over and over again in there. That wasn't easy. It was very impressive. What's our next move? <laughs> going, going, going to Sadash maybe is what we will do, but it is complicated for me for to go to Sadash to speak to this man. I don't know that I can do that. I'm not saying that we don't but I don't know that I can do that. We're going to have to protect you while we're there. And I think we'll also need to listen to what it is you want to do in case we run across any of the unsavory types we've met previously. Specifically the ones that have it out for you. And we're going to have to get out as cleanly and quickly as possible. Or, <clears throat> what do you want to do? Hmm. Do you want to run? or find some absolution. If we go there, I want to find any information from Haas and leave. I don't need to um, get my feet wet in that. We have a friend who needs us, and we have something bigger, bigger than anything, apparently, to deal with, so. First we save our friend. First we save our friend. Everything else will come. Agreed. I hate tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Just not for me. Yeah. They're frowned upon in my family. So. 